book of Revelation is the most awesome book. It's the climax of the ages and it's time that we understand it. Enjoy the series. Now, Revelation is all about Jesus Christ, <laughs> what he's done for the church, the birth of the church, and it's how he dealt with the adversary, how he removed the old, and he brought in the new, and it's just the most amazing book. He says, somewhere right in the beginning, he says that if you read this book, there is a blessing on you, and you cannot change this. So I'm going to bring you a few short series on the book of Revelation. I am right here on the top of the most beautiful mountains in Switzerland. And I've just been thinking, the higher you go up, the flatter the earth actually looks. You know, and your problems and your situations might look so big, but that the more you get into Christ, the smaller these problems become. Um, till there's a point where it doesn't touch you anymore because He has prepared a place for you that you can actually be where He is. And Daniel says, <laughs> there was a rock cut from the mountains without man's hands. And this rock became <laughs> so big that it filled the world. And all the kingdoms doesn't matter anymore. And this is Jesus Christ. And you know what? When all the kingdoms and everybody's lives are over, the only thing that still remains is that place in God that He has prepared for us. So this is why the book of Revelation is so important. It's all about Jesus. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. It's not the revelation of the beast. It's not the revelation of the Antichrist. It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. And amazingly, the whole book was visions that John got on the Isle of Patmos. He was there for the testimony of Jesus Christ. And we know Revelation 19 says the testimony of Jesus is spirit of prophecy and for the word of God. <laughs> and Revelation 19 puts it so awesome. The word of God is the rider on the white horse and he has a name on his side. The word, the everlasting word. And we have to succumb and we have to walk into the plan of God and not always try and have it our own way. You cannot interpret the book of Revelation <laughs> in your own way. It's like you think you've got everything connected, but every angle brings you to another connection and you realize you do not know everything. That's why God uses the foolishness of preaching, but His Spirit is ever revealing. As time grows, Revelation grows. We have to grow with it. <laughs>